Welcome back everyone to another episode of this series. So I haven't been able to make a episode in a while now because I've had some errors with uh, the Firebase package or Firebase auth package. But it seems to be resolved now with the latest Flutter and the auth package update. So I'll start to continue now with this series. So just some explanation. Uh, I have created a new project. The project should be identical to the last one. I just changed like the title up here and some things. So the GitHub repository will be updated with this project instead. Uh, and I will update the description of the last video also. But uh, let's just dive into it. Get a free full month of Skillshare and stream more than 18,000 online classes on subjects like design, business and tech. After a while and you feel like this isn't for you, you can always cancel a subscription and not pay anything. So don't wait, try it out now. The link is in the description. So where we left off on the last episode is that we can now sign in with the email and password we created on the Firebase page. So let's start with creating our like more of a welcome screen where we can choose either if we want to sign in or sign up. But let's just make this a bit cleaner and move the setup into pages because it's part of the pages. Uh, and this import will, we, will be removed as it's not valid anymore and we'll import a new like that. So this should still be working. And we can see it's still working. So inside this setup, we will create a new Dart file. And let's just call it welcome. Let, let's call it welcome for now. So let's create a, should we create, we just create a stateful widget for now. We call it welcome. H. We import a new package and we create a scaffold. with the app bar and some title just to make this clear. Like that. And let's just add this welcome page to the start of our application. So instead of login page, we set our welcome page and we will remove the title. What library? Remove this library. Like that. So now we can see that we have our home page, which, which is just the Firebase app. And we will make everything a bit cleaner in a later episode. Right now, we'll just focus on the functions of everything. So let's go back to the welcome page and we will create a body. So the body should contain two buttons, right? One for going to the sign in page and one for going to the upcoming sign up page. So let's just create a column for that. And we'll create two buttons. So just to save time, we can go to our sign in page and go to our buttons, copy that and paste that in. So we have our first button. And this should be sign in, should make sense. And we should have another button which is just sign up. If we save that, we can see that we have two buttons. So let's see if we can empty these things. Uh, cross -sex element. Let's see it rich. Yeah. Let's make it like this for now. We can add padding or whatever in later. So let's make the functions to navigate to the other screens. So we have one for the sign in. So we should call it like navigate to sign in. That will just be a void. And that should be a lowercase. There we go. And we will have another one, which is navigate to sign up. So there we have the basis of this page. So let's import a function and let's import some comment. 
Um, uh, let's actual, actually use the, uh, use the navigation. So we go to the sign-in page. We have actually created a navigate.push before. We take that one. Go to the page we are welcoming. So instead of... Here we can see that we push a new page. And we go to the home page, which we don't want. We want to go to the sign-in page. Let's do that. So sign in, I think it was called. Let's see. Oh, login page. That's on bad naming conventions right there. And let's import that one. And that doesn't take a user, but it takes something else, right? We go back to login page. We can see that it takes a title and we don't actually want to take a title at all. I don't think we need that right now. Let's remove this and remove the constructor like that. And we could test it out. So let's go back to welcome page. You can see that we have our navigation. Oh, welcome back. So we can see that we have our navigation to login page. So if you press sign up, doesn't do anything. Sign in. Doesn't do anything either because we haven't called it. If we do it like that and save and then press the sign in, we can see that we get to another page. Uh, and we can do another thing also. Uh, I like to do it because um, it makes it a bit more understandable for the user, I guess. So you can see that we have a back arrow right here. But I see it as this is the last last page that will pop up before we replace the welcome screen with the home screen, right? So for this material route, I think it was here. Was it here? There, full screen dialog. So if we put this to true, and we try the sign in, oh, the sign in, we can see that it becomes a cross instead. So that just makes sense to have this as a last page because when we sign in then this page will close down and then replace this page right here like that and we'll probably import something like scope model in the future just because we used to handle the uh, the passage of the user instead of like passing it down every widget we we'll make that in the next tutorial probably um, so there we have the sign in page and we have to create the sign up page right now. So if we go to project again, we can see setup, we create a new Dart file. Let's call it sign up and call it sign oh, a stateful widget sign up. And this is just my personal preference. I like to create all my widgets to stateful. And if I notice that I don't actually need stateful, I will convert it back to a stateless widget. Um, so we create a scaffold. Like that. And we will go to the welcome screen again and do the same as this one. But instead of navigating to the login page, we'll navigate to sign up page. Was like this. Really bad at naming conventions, it seems. Sign up page. There we go. And we import this. Let's see if we press sign up. We have to put this here also, like that. We can see that we get to the sign up page. So just for the explanation, we will just create it very equal to the signing page, but we'll instead call a create user function. So let's just go into the signing and let's copy all of this code right here. Inside the login state, we go to sign up page. We will, what did I actually, yeah, I removed the build also. So let's just paste this in. Now we can see that we have all of this code. Let's close this for now. Uh, all of this code. And let's import the necessary plugin. And we also have a home right here. Which we don't want now. We don't actually want to navigate right now because um, 
that's not finished, so actually let's just remove this. And we'll do a navigator dot off context up for now. This will have some more things. We will have a scaffold to display that an email notification has been sent also. So right now we're using Firebase Auth and then we're calling the instance of that to sign in with email and password. So there's another function in this which is sign sign up or what is it? Is it create maybe? Yeah, create user with email and password. And that will take the same parameters as the one before. So we'll take an email and we'll take a password. And this will create the user. We will put that here. And after that, we will also just call our user and send the email verification. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's something we will do in the next tutorial. Uh, so as you can see here, we call our, of course it's not our sign in, it's our sign up. We call our sign up and we validate our fields. So let's just save that so I can display it. We validate our fields. And then we call the create user with email and password. We send an email uh, verification. And then we just pop back to the home or the main page. So what we'll actually do after that is that we want to navigate to the home screen. So how can we make that a not actually sure if this will work, but we can try it anyway. We'll take this navigator push. Let's try it, why not? No, actually we don't want to push to this. We actually want to navigate to, to the um, login page, right? Because we create our user and because we send an email verification, the user won't be able to log in instantly because they need to verify their email. And if you want to, uh, the, so they can access the database without that, it's up to you. But I will, instead of pushing the home page, I will create a push replacement page. And this will be the login page, which doesn't take a user. So we go back to the top of this page again. Remove the unnecessary code. If we try now, there should be a message that we can't provide an empty. So I'll just type something like uh, this. Email.com. And we sign up. So there you can see now we are at the login page. Let's just let me take up the console to show you that the page has been or the user has been created. So here we have our authentication or Firebase. We can press on authentication page. And we can see that we have created our user and that user has been assigned an ID. So that is all working now. So for the next tutorial, uh, we will look at um, cleaning this up a little, maybe showing a notification of some sort that we have gotten an email notification or email verification. And then that that email needs to be verified for us to sign in. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Let me know if there is anything special you would like to see in this series. I will maybe take a look at um, like a administrator and user relationship because many have um, asked for that. Uh, but for now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.